Hey, thanks for joining us. It's Louis B, the digital host for the Hamilton Tiger Cats, and there was a fantastic event going on uh, this weekend. Uh, it's fantastic for the support that it's raising. The United Way of Halton and Hamilton did the Sleepless in Our Cities on Friday night, in which uh, local members of the community uh, slept in their cars to, to kind of simulate uh, what so many people are struggling with across the country. Uh, more than 2.3 million Canadians have experienced homelessness at some point in their lives. And uh, Sleepless in Our Cities was a fantastic event. And two of the men who participated are here with us now. Lloyd Smith is the CEO of First Ontario Credit Union. And Chris Van Zyl is an offensive lineman for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Uh, gentlemen, uh, it's great to see you. Uh, a, a fantastic event on a Friday that raised more than $75,000. That was its goal. It has surpassed its goal. Uh, Lloyd, we'll start with you. Uh, just what was the experience like for yourself? Well, thank you um, and good morning. Yeah, no, the experience was a very uh, unhumbling experience, I would say. Uh, in my case, uh, obviously, I started off at uh, 10 o'clock and you're, you know, you're sort of okay with it. And I woke up around 5, 520. And uh, that was really the reality of what it was like. Uh, it was very, very cold inside the vehicle. And I started to reflect thereafter about, you know, what it must be like. I'm doing this, obviously, as an event to bring awareness. I'm very happy that I've got a platform that I can do this to create awareness and raise money. Uh, but it, I started afterwards. I really couldn't sleep after 520. I started just to sort of reflect on what it must be like for so many people to basically have to um, have this as their home. And that's, you know, this is how they're sleeping at nighttime. And uh, obviously, you, you know, a lot of range of emotions in terms of how blessed you feel, uh, how fortunate you feel, and then recognizing that uh, it's important for all of us to support everybody in our community and to try to do more. And so it was from that perspective, it was very much an experience that I, I, I really, um, I'm pleased that I, I, I did it and uh, certainly, uh, you know, reflected on what it must be like for so many Canadians to have to do this. Uh, Chris, uh, you know, I was reading on the United uh, Way of Halton and Hamilton's website, a thousand dollar donation uh, supports five families uh, for a monthly visit to, uh, to kind of a diaper bank where they can get formula and diapers. Uh, you have two young children, uh, including a very young newborn, um, sleeping in your car, obviously you did it by yourself, but again, did it give you time to reflect on, on the, the invisibility of homelessness sometimes? Absolutely. I mean, everything leading up to it, um, from the, from the onset of, of joining the program and, and being a part of it, it's, um, you, you start to reflect and you start to think about how your life could be different and, um, how much, um, how much different it could be, um, to, to be able to, to have a house and, and whatnot and, and, and be, have, have shelter and, and have the warmth of a bed at night. It's, it's, it's a luxury that a lot of people don't necessarily have. And, um, to, to have to subject your family to that as well. And, and think about my two young children to, to be outside there with me. I mean, it's, it's unfathomable. It's, it's, it's tough to understand and comprehend how, how some people have to do this. And, um, the more you get involved and the longer it went, the more I thought about it and the, the stronger the feeling was that I had to do something to help. And um, it was very encouraging to, uh, to have all the support and, and help that we did receive. And um, I'm, I'm very proud of the people around me and our community for, for how they stepped up. And um, it's, it's incredible to be able to, to do something like that um, for one night. I mean, I'm doing it for one night to kind of simulate what it would feel like uh, for all these people that do it night in, night out. And um, yeah, it's, uh, you feel incredibly blessed. You feel, um, yeah, it, and that's probably the best way to describe it and kind of echo the same sentiment, um, which we just spoke of. It's, 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 it's a great thing to be a part of something where you can get back to the community and do something that, that affects change, you know? Yeah, absolutely. We mentioned the goal was 75,000. I think as of this morning, uh, that goal has been surpassed to 77,000. You guys are uh, two of the top three fundraisers as well. Uh, so obviously a, a great job. And, and, and Lloyd, for you, I mean, the first Ontario credit union, it, it's such a staple in the community. The Hamilton Tiger Cats are such a staple in the community. So to be able to give back to a local organization like the United Way of Halton and Hamilton and, and to keep these dollars in this city, how important is that for you? personally and for the organization of First Ontario Credit Union? Well, personally, I, again, I've been a supporter of United Way for, for decades. And uh, I actually, in the last few years, got more actively involved. 
and I'm, uh, I'm just finishing up uh, being a cabinet member uh, with United Way Hamilton Halton. So uh, personally, professionally, uh, I've tried to do what I can to support uh, the organization. I, I believe they do some great work for so many different uh, agencies within our community and helping uh, community is such an important part of, I'll say, my life. And certainly from the standpoint of uh, the credit union, uh, we, we talk about community being in our DNA. And uh, I feel very passionate about that. And as I said earlier, I, I, you know, I feel blessed that I've got a bit of a platform here that I can sort of... Uh, uh, help more in, in, in our community and help people uh, throughout uh, all of our community. And, you know, as Chris said, I mean, uh, you, you can't always put yourself in everyone's shoes, but uh, things happen, circumstances happen. And uh, when you start to reflect on what this event meant and uh, so many people, uh, that's how I became aware of, of, of sort of, I'll say the issues and challenges is through being a cabinet member and really understanding that there is so many people in our community that uh, have this circumstance in their life that I completely take for granted I, you know again feel blessed uh, obviously I have a warm home and uh, a nice bed to sleep on but you take it for granted so from that perspective uh, I'm all in trying to help and um, I'd like to thank again if I could all the supporters that I had in terms of raising the money that was raised for this great cause uh, I can't thank them enough for what they've done to provide money in support of a very large issue and one that I unfortunately feel is only getting worse yeah, and Chris, to that point, I mean, I, I saw some of the donations that were showing up on your page. What did it mean to see uh, kind of kind of the brotherhood of the CFL? I saw, uh, of course, Solomon Alamimian uh, had, a, had a donation on your page, the organizations, uh, different organizations, different guys you played with. So for you to see to see people from all over the country uh, contribute to this local organization here, that must have been, again, one of those uh, kind of humbling experiences. Absolutely. And um, to see, uh, like it was... They came from everywhere, and and I didn't ask for. I, I was as obviously asking for money um, from from friends and family and stuff, but um, I was asking for people to spread the word and 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 raise awareness and and that sort of thing too. I mean, I, I understand what kind of time we're living in right now, where not everybody's going to be able to give. So um, to spread the word and raise awareness, I think that's also. Uh, uh, that's a tool you can use to kind of to to affect change, you know, and it's not always about money. And, and I know money gets to the bottom line and, and helps people right away. But spreading the word and raising awareness, I mean, it might be the difference between driving by that guy that's on the side of the road asking for a, a dollar or two, uh, as opposed to rolling down the window and throwing out what you have in your in your change holder. I mean, it's, it's, it's little things and, and the awareness and, and um, how people uh, process what they see on the streets and, and how they see um, people living and, and whatnot. And um, instead of saying, oh, yeah, that's just somebody who chose to do this or that or whatever, that's somebody that needs help. And I can help them and I will help them. And that's, that's kind of where I, I saw I, I could help the most is just spreading the word. And um, it was great to, to have the support and, and the, the funds that we raised. Um, but spreading the word and raising awareness was a big part of it as well. We'll finish up on this one. Uh, Lloyd, uh, you know, you said you've been involved with the United Way for, for quite a few years now, but uh, what was one takeaway you took away from Friday night? What, like you mentioned that, that, that kind of 5.30 from the rest of the morning on, uh, you, you can really sleep. What, what's one thing that you think is going to stick with you uh, during, for, from this experience? Um, I would say, again, the... Uh, it's one thing to sort of, I guess, uh, to pick up on what Chris said, it's one thing to sort of read about it and hear people talk about it, but no one will be able to take away for me the experience of what it was actually like to sleep in my vehicle for 10 hours on a whatever minus seven degree uh, evening, you know, early morning. And so that will be uh, something that will, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll never forget. And it, it will be, again, a reminder uh, that there are so many uh, people that unfortunately that's their life. And it's, again, it just, uh, the, it's so important, as Chris said, to create the awareness and keep the dialogue going and continue to do what we can do. Uh, I, I feel very you know, much about community, the, 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 what I call inclusiveness of community. And uh, we all basically need to support each other. And if I've got, as I said, a platform or I've got an ability to do it, I wanna be able to make sure I don't forget the experience and continue to uh, support our community and people within it. And Chris, I'll, I'll I'll just let you pick up on that point there, and uh, again, a takeaway for you from uh, from Friday night. Um, the takeaway for me, 
yes, it was a, it was an uncomfortable experience, but um, the awareness that that uncomfortable experience, uh, some people have to live night in, night out, and um, to to not stop spreading the word. It's 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 one thing to experience that, but it's another thing to affect uh, change and and the people around you. Sharing my experience moving forward, and and making sure that people understand that it's yeah. The, it was it was something I did to to help and 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 that, but it's it, it's not gonna it's not gonna end at that experience. It's gonna be something that kind of ripple effects through the rest of my life, and I'm gonna share that experience with as many people that want to listen. And um, I, I want to be someone that affects change as opposed to somebody that just stands by and and lets things happen. So um, hopefully, this is something that uh, some other like other people will see and. And then it'll help them uh, become more aware of what's happening. Um, and, and yeah, it's, it doesn't have to stop with this event ending. It's, it's something that can continue on. And um, if, if people are able and willing that they continue to, they, they can continue to donate to United Way and, and, and provide funds to help people that, um, that go directly into the community. Well, gentlemen, well said. We appreciate you sharing your experiences with us here today. As mentioned, uh, the $75,000 goal has been surpassed. I know donations are still being accepted at the United Way of Halton and Hamilton. Uh, the CEO of First Ontario Credit Union, Lloyd Smith, thank you very much. Chris Van Zyl, offensive lineman for the Ticats, thank you guys for doing this, and thank you for uh, taking part and sharing your experiences. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, Louis.